There you go, guys. I didn't put the uh, winter tires on that much earlier than I had to. Only by about a week and a half. Yokohama Ice Guard tires feel fantastic, not sliding anywhere. And it's a wet, slushy, definitely slippery morning out here. So get it done, guys, especially if you live in Canada. Well, trying to get as much uh, electrical energy as we can out of this, as always, but this is the problem with fall. You can see my windows are fogging up, so I have to concede it's just not safe to let them fog. I'm gonna have to turn the heater on. So I've mentioned it before, guys, uh, running the heat, it says it's gonna cost you 10 kilometers, but it really doesn't. Um, it's probably more like five kilometers on your electric. Once the car heats up, uh, it doesn't use that much power. The the uh, defroster isn't running full blast anymore. So, but when you first push the heat button, it's going to show 10 kilometers come off of your electric range. And just remember, like everything else with the guessometer, it's just a guess. So once the windows are clear, I just shut it off and uh, I leave the heated seat on. And you know, and. 10 minutes, I might have to turn the, uh, the defroster back on for another minute or two. Your second option is to hold your breath. Just don't breathe. Someone online was asking me about uh, noises, squeaks and creaks and anything abnormal with the vehicle. And uh, my car has 13,600 kilometers on it. It's seven months old. So absolutely not. It's a new vehicle. Um, I'm very up tight when it comes to noises and that up there is the sunglasses holder but I will not let my wife put any sunglasses in there because they rattle around and I hate any noise like that I I don't know it's just the way I am um, this uh, vehicle has very heavy doors on it so the road noise is at a minimum um, it feels substantial you feel like you're in a solid vehicle coming from the Subaru Forester which was very well safety rated um, it did feel much more like a tin can rocket. That thing went like snot, but you didn't feel like there was anything substantial when it came to um, the, the weight of the vehicle. This just feels like a much more, much solid, much more solid vehicle. Um, and therefore the road noise is at a minimum. Like the doors are very heavy in this vehicle. You do hear the winter tires a little more, as I said, but uh, that's almost like a, you can feel it more. You're feeling the lugs on the pavement more than hear it I guess but uh, in terms of abnormal noises and squeaks and anything absolutely nothing so so as you guys can see I'm at 26.8 kilometers driven this morning and I've only got eight kilometers left on the uh, guessometer seven um, so I'm really noticing that with temperatures down around uh, zero degrees or this morning one degree and the winter tires I'm losing probably close to 10 kilometers per charge. Um, also in with that is the heater, of course. I've got to use the heat because as I showed you, the windows fog up. So fall driving, we're down, you know, eight, nine or 10 kilometers compared to summer driving per charge. Okay, so it's stat time. And I just want to show you guys, this is the tracking for gas that we've put into the Mitsubishi Outlander since April, so seven months. Um, up here in the top you can see the total I've spent on gas and this is my total average liters per hundred kilometers 5.6 that's including charges and um, gasoline hybrid mode so that's everything that's my entire total driving the vehicle is 5.63 liters per hundred kilometers um, what I wanted to show you guys here is this is the latest information this is a trip that I just did to Toronto 730 kilometers round trip and I wanted to show you guys this is the liters per hundred kilometers now um, this first uh, line here would include a charge from home so 40 kilometers worth of electric and that's why you see 8.16 liters here and on the way home we didn't have a charge in the car so that's probably what the difference was as well that's also coming home with a car load of shopping and groceries from a Toronto weekend. So there's a, a bit of extra weight there um, and no charge. But there is the liters per hundred kilometers with the car with winter tires on. 
So the 8.16, 8.6, if you average those out, you're going to be somewhere 8.3537, somewhere in there. So over 8 liters. Um, that's a big difference with the snow tires. Um, before, we were getting anywhere between 6.8. On longer trips, we'd get between 6.8 and 7.3. So uh, the snow tires do make a big difference. You'll notice here, um, 188 kilometers trailered. That's with the four-wheeler and trailer on the back. 10 liters, that's what the Outlander gets. Almost 11 liters per 100 kilometers when towing a trailer um, with substantial weight in it. Um, and then the rest of these, you can see these are uh, weeks when I didn't put any gasoline in and I just used the electric. 2.57, 2.86, 3.5. So that's it. That's my seven months uh, of tracking fuel.